Hello, everyone. For applicants who are 65 years or older and have been a legal permanent resident of the United States for 20 or more years, you may simply study the questions that have been marked with an asterisk. An applicant needs to answer six correct answers out of ten questions that will be asked in order to pass the civics portion of the naturalization test. It is very important that the applicant must study very well. A USCIS system randomly selects the test questions and the immigration officer stops the test when the applicant correctly answers the six questions required to pass the civics test. Let's begin to practice for the civics test. The questions and answers of the civics test is officially based on the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services website. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. In what month do we vote for president? November. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Who was the first president? George Washington. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the Slaves Emancipation Proclamation. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Please remember that some answers may change because of elections or appointments on the naturalization test. So it's important to know 
the most current answers to these questions as you study for the test. Try to answer these questions with the name of the official who is serving at the time of your eligibility interview. The USCIS officer will not accept an incorrect answer. What is the capital of your state? Click the link below this video and visit the United States Census Bureau, where you can see the list of U.S. state capitals and click the state where you live in the United States. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? To find the name of your current Senators for your state, visit the official website link below this video that will direct you to find out the names of the current Senators from your state.